Hey everybody, we hope to earn your subscription today. We're going to the beach and we're going to put a big pile of gold in a gold pan. So hang on to your hat. It's going to be a wild one. Tell you that. Hello and welcome back to the Flower Gold Wizard channel. I'm Jason. That's Rigby and Moose, my mining partners. We're part-time gold prospectors based in Wisconsin. Today, we're going to work the beaches of Lake Superior. There's all kinds of gold to be had around here, believe it or not. And we are going to find it today. I found a new deposit here, and I think it's going to be something quite special. And, huh, there's a couple of bugs. I brought some help. We have Junior Miss Wizard. <laughs> and Blanky. And Mrs. Wizard. Over there already looking for cool rocks. So, I got all my gear down here. A little bit more than I would normally have. <laughs> so we're going to get set up and get the show on the road. Back in a bit. Get rid of these bubbles. You do not want bubbles in a beach loose system or any system for that matter. But I guarantee you those bubbles will definitely mess with that teeny weeny beach gold we're after. So I just get my mat here, all these little vortexes, little give them some slappings. <laughs> all them bubbles are gone, and then we'll start feeding. There we go, piece of cake. Looks pretty good to me. And luckily, our material is right here. Let's grab one of them bad ponies. Throw it on there, just like that. I'm gonna throw two on there. Looks like we might be running just a little bit heavy to that one side there. See how the water's coming off the end a little, a little heavy that way? That's no big deal, we're in sand. We'll just tip that a little bit like that, push that down a hair, and voila, perfect. All my cells look like they're pretty even though. We are in business. I'm gonna throw one more on there, see if there's any gold in this stuff. That's my little indicator mat right there. I'll let you guys watch that play out one time. We'll see what it looks like. Everything's running real well. Well, we're still here running away. And we're showing up some pretty good looking gold. A couple of nicer pieces in there for sure. And there's gold in my little spinnerets down in here as you can see. So, oh my goodness, look at that big old honker. That's a big piece right there. Let me see if I can number three that one. Uh, kablamo. <laughs> uh, where'd it go? Oh, geez, right there. Look at that, that's a dandy. All right, but anyway, now that I know I'm getting gold, I was kind of scraping up out of there because that stuff really had good gold the last time and it, and it stands true today. That stuff's really good. It's kind of lacking in this area here a little bit. So what I did, as I went up here and I dug a little bit of a trench there, shoveled off some of that sand that slides down the hill. And I noticed that there's a black sand deposit that runs right about, I don't know, four or five inches down from the surface of this, of this uh, top sand right here. And it gets just a little bit thicker right there. So what I wanna do is test that stuff. How am I gonna do that without having to pan and I can still run at the same time? Well, I'll just take, I'll take my finger here and I'll smack all these little, all these little riffles in my in my indicator mat right here. Get rid of all that pesky gold. <laughs> all right, now all that gold's gone, minus maybe one or two little tiny pieces. I'll take my little scoop right here and I'll test it. Right there. That's a pretty good pile. Really good and black and juicy. And just throwing, I'll just throw that right on there. And I'll be able to tell if there's gold in it or not. Because that capture mat 
it is a capture mat, but it's more of an indicator mat tool for me. But it will capture the gold and tell me how much gold is in that scoop right there. At least two or three pieces out of, say, ten that might get caught down there. Works every darn time. And I see one piece, two piece right there for sure. So there is gold in that stuff. I might do a pan out of that just to see exactly how much. And but until then, I think we're just going to keep digging over there. <laughs> well, hey, honey, who's your favorite gold prospector on YouTube? I tell ya. <laughs> Let's talk about feed rates. All right, now feed rates on different sluices are going to be different for different sluices, obviously. This one here is pretty darn easy to figure out because I can see each and every one of these vortexes right here. And as you can see, they're really starting to fill up with gold and we haven't been doing this that long. That's only about a quarter full right there. So we are, we're gonna do quite well today. This thing is capturing gold like crazy. So as far as my sluice feed rate goes, well, I'll show you. Grab a little pile of this sand right here and throw it on there. What you want the gold to do is to come in contact with the mat. The vortexes are gonna provide a low pressure area on that side of these little uh, slot drop riffles right here and in these circular uh, vortexes, all right? As long as you can see some of the mat right there, you can put more material on this sluice. It's quite fast. This stuff, this mat here processes material pretty quickly. And as you can see, they, slow, they start to clear out. And as soon as I can see a little bit of green all the way across this baby, I could throw another one on there because that gold has an opportunity to fall down and come in contact with that mat. Plus, you don't want to have your mat, whoop, <laughs> there's the mine boss. You don't want to have your mat empty because if you just had solid gold in there, guaranteed you're gonna lose some of your gold or more of it than you would just having some material in there with your, with your gold. So we got this baby figured out. And we can feed this pretty fast. We're gonna do quite well today. Right, Rick Bone? That's right. And I know what else you're gonna ask. How often do I clean up? Excellent question. Well, the answer to that question is fairly simple, at least for this sluice. Now, this is more of a processor. Now, as you can see, the gold is sticking to the mat and it's not, it just doesn't move. So theoretically, I could run this thing all day long until those things fill up solid with gold. As long as it keeps exchanging the black sand and the other heavy elements for the gold. Now, like I said before, if this thing just gets too full of gold, well, you're gonna lose a bunch of gold. So there's probably a balance in there somewhere, but I wouldn't think that I'm gonna find so much gold that I have to worry too darn much about it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run as long as I possibly can without doing a cleanup just to see a really nice cleanup. And P.S. Last time I was here, I had my sluice sitting right on that green pail. Just because I, I just it was more of a test uh, situation for this sluice, and not, now that I know it works excellent, and that gold does not move at all, I'm gonna run this baby as long as possible. So before I had to clean out every time that got that got full, now I'll just slide it out of there, dump it, throw it right back under there, and keep running away. Yeah. Prospecting tip 3,412. Never be embarrassed to lay on your big blankie. <laughs> That's right. Prospecting tip seven. Now, just because you see gold in your sluice doesn't mean there's gold in there. Or wait. That's exactly what it means. I see gold. In each and every one of these, there's a whole bunch up in these, that indicator mat, and all kinds of gold and all them round ones and these long slots. Now I've got two and a half gallons run right there, and I just want to see what we're capturing. Let's take a look. <laughs> oh boy. And if you're wondering why I'm still wearing these waders, because the darn flies out here, they bite hard. And you could put bug spray on it, it keeps them off, but every time you go in the water, 
<laughs> the bug spray wears off and those babies bite you right through your socks too. All right, I'm gonna do that one live. So let me put that in three, just to show you how much gold is in that. Two and a half gallons right there. Uh, right about there looks about right. And I'm gonna lose some of it, because it's gonna float away on me. But there is, oh my goodness, that's a lot. Yeah, that's gonna be a nice pot. Oh my God, look at that big piece right there. <laughs> I'm gonna get this cleaned up. Look at the gold showing up on that. I hope you guys can see all that. Right there is a monster big piece of gold, for sure. Oh, baby. All right, let me fan this all back and get this sand out of there. And we're gonna have hundreds, it looks like. Really nice cleanup. Back in a bit. And kablamo. Look at that. <laughs> that is two and a half gallons right there. That is absolutely amazing. Let me see if I can get down into that big one right there. Oh, <laughs> look at that. That one's way bigger than any of the other ones. We couldn't be happier. That is, we're gonna do awesome today. Those girls are down there, way, way down there looking for cool rocks. I hope they realize that each one they pick up must be carried back to the truck. What a day, I tell you. We are gonna absolutely crush it today. I've been spending just a little bit of time doing some filming, and I apologize if you could hear the wind because I can feel it slapping me in the head. But uh, it's a beautiful day out here. So now we're just gonna run, 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 because I wanna put as much gold in that sluice as absolutely possible. And like I said before, I don't even know, if theoretically, we might not even have to clean up. Uh, let's, let's put that to the test, see if we can't fill that thing up with gold solid. P.S. We're back to moving rocks. That's just got the best gold. I've been testing this whole darn time. You clear these rocks off of here and you get down to that black layer of sand right here underneath all this, all this cobbles and uh, yellow sand. This stuff here is just <laughs> full of gold. So we're gonna keep running that stuff. I'm gonna start a fresh. Got a little bit of gunk in there. So we're gonna start off with a whole new batch of fresh water. Well, and then we're gonna run and probably have a snack. And I'm out here just about to grab me a fresh pail of water. Just looking at all the awesome rocks around here. Like that one. Pretty cool, huh? There's millions and billions and trillions of billions and millions of them. I hope they're not filling two whole pails up. <laughs> hey, Mrs. Wizard, what you got in your pouch there? <laughs> Oh boy. Prospecting tip number 12. Always be prepared. Right, Rigby? It's snack time. Let's take a look at this here snack bag they brought. We got some heart flavored or heart shaped Cheerios or something. Oh, we got a couple pieces of, I don't know, string cheese or something. And some jicama. Uh, blech. That's right, always prepared. Let's take a little look in my chair here. That's right, meat sticks. All right, one for the baby boy, and one for Big Rig. He needs that. He's a hard working miner. Four big pieces. That's right. <laughs> She's loaded up, and he wants another snack. Hmm. That's an interesting one. That a little lady's moved over here, out of the wind a little bit. That tree's blocking the wind. It's chilly out here. Wind's coming right off that big lake right there. <laughs> and I got my sweatshirt. <laughs> well, I'm gonna do another clean up here. Things are looking real good. I think I got three or four pails run through this particular clean up here. And uh, if you can see that, I'll try to get in there. Those things are loaded with gold. Look at all the gold packed up in those little spinnerets. And I did notice that the gold back in the one here goes all the way down. There's a bunch all the way down to the bottom here. And I've been feeding it in there mighty fast. 
I'm sure I'm losing some out of my tailings, but I guarantee you I'm capturing well above 80, 85% for sure. And I'll settle for that. If I can run twice the material and get 85%, in the end of the day, we're gonna have more gold. That's a guarantee. Now we're not leaving quite yet. But before I forget, I just wanted to show you exactly the deposit we're working here. Now you can see, there's the beach right there, all them cobbles, and that goes down about a foot. See that? And then right here on the bottom, there's this layer of gray, or uh, tan sand, but it's really, really dense. You can't even hardly poke your finger through it. And then right on top of that is this black sand right here. Now that's, some of that's about half an inch thick or so, but that's the stuff. The gold is sitting right on top of that black sand right there and mixed in with it right on top of this real dense layer. I'm really putting some pressure on that and you can't even poke that stuff. So that's why that gold deposit's sitting down inside of there. All this stuff up here is really loose and dry and then it kind of creeps on down here and really starts to get compacted right there. And we are absolutely pounding it. Back at her. Well, we're getting out of here. We ran a whole pile of pay dirt off the beach. And it's getting a little chilly, it's starting to rain a little bit, but I know we have a whole big galaxy pile of gold. So we're gonna get the heck out of here, go get something to eat, pick it up back at the shop. <laughs> Four plates of big boy buffet table later, and we're back. <laughs> Oh yeah, that was a long ride. Grab a little something out of the fridge of wonder. That's right. Indeed, we are back. Now one of these days, the stars are gonna align and I'm gonna get to run 20 pails in a day. Something always happens, but our day will come. But today, we've got three cleanups in this little snuffer jar here. Now I realized after running that system for a couple of times now that I could probably just do one clean out at the end of the day and have a third of this to bring home and just pan away. But there's a little bit too much there for me to pan right now. So I'm gonna take the time and run it over my three, three inch VDR cleanup sluice. That'll chew through that stuff, no problem. I already have this stuff classified down. I did it at the beach with my kitchen type strainer device. Highly technical. So let's get this thing up and running and see what we got. <laughs> All right, now I got that sluice over here. I'm running away, just letting it clean out a little bit. And this is the little bit off the bottom of that pan. I dumped all that snuffer jar in a pan so I could scoop it. And I thought I'd pan this little bit that was left in there out. And look at the bottom of this here pan from that, I don't know, quarter or eighth of a teaspoon right there. <laughs> That's a lot of gold in there already. Holy smokeronies. That's awesome. All right, I'll get that cleaned up off camera and we'll take a look at that. Let me grab this camera off of this here holder. We'll go peek at it. Let me turn that down and we can see it. There we go. We are doing really well. Now, if I recall, I only got, I don't know, six five gallon pails run. Just a hair more than we did last time, I do believe. Um, yeah, I think we ran five five gallon pails last time, but we're 90% of the day on the gold, the best part of the beach that I could find, and it's showing. I can't wait to get that stuff in a pan. Take a look at it. All right, let's get this stuff into a pan. Turn my water on. Come on, water. <laughs> Here we are. Wonderful, nice and clean. And there we have it. That is awesome right there. Look at some, some of them bigger pieces in there. We did really well. I'm, I'm convinced that where we're digging underneath all those cobbles is producing way more bigger pieces than I'm typically getting. See if I can get that into a smile. Oh. 
Eh, kinda, it's bouncing off my big fat belly. But that's a nice pile of gold right there. Look at that. Ooh, doggy. And we'll take a little walk out here. Take a look at some of the rocks Mrs. Wizard got today. She's already got a good coat of shellac on them. There's some pretty interesting rocks right here. I know for sure there were a couple of agates in there. Ooh, this kind of sunset light is tough on the eyes here. But they're all pretty special in their own little way. She brought a deep, pretty decent pile of them back. That one there is for sure an agate. Look at that one. Heck yeah. Beautiful stuff. Really nice. And where, where are all these going? Well, I'll show you. Every time we go there, she brings a few more home for around our beach. She puts a coat of shellac on them <laughs> and then puts them in her, in her own special little spot right here, right next to little Mr. Frog. But there's a lot of them. That's a lot of work hauling all those rocks back from the beach. Let me tell you. Well, I would say that's a win all day long. I mean, we landed on the same deposit we were on last time and we were checking around here and there, but the, the best gold again was underneath those co cobbles down on top of that real hard pack layer. 30 plus pieces in a scoop, I would bet, and we shoveled it all day long. Not as much as I'd like to. I want to get down there and get 20 plus pails in a day, but something always happens, but we will get there, that's for sure. Um, it, that sluice system worked absolutely fantastic again. I didn't even have to classify. I'm not worried one bit about it at all. I don't even have to clean that thing out until the end of the day as far as I'm concerned. So we're going to be testing that soon enough. So until the next episode, like, share, subscribe. Please do leave a comment. It helps build our channel. Flower Gold Wizards, oh.